Hey guys, it's me, the Dark Master, and today this is going to be the final update of last video's tier list. So, um, it has changed a tiny bit, but not really much. So let's get started. At F tier, we still have Suko, which it has the worst stats ever, probably for a larger dinosaur. It has only 500 health and 40 base damage. 1.5 bleed, which is quite bad for a big carnivore, and only 25 speed, which is not too good. Anyways, next on the list, we have the Hypsilophodon, which honestly is pretty good for surviving, but you can get sneak attacked by Carnos, Trudons, and sometimes Utahraptors. They have great mobility, but they are not really that strong. So let's check the stats. So the stats for the Hypsilophodon is 75 health, 6 base damage, um, and two, six, 36 running speed. And honestly, it is quite good for a like little build. Anyways, next we have the Parasaur. The Parasaur, or the Parasaurolphus, honestly is not the strongest for a large herbivore. Um, even though it's easier to grow, it's like really hard to kill stuff and to like defend yourself due to the fact that a lot of other things are faster or the same speed as a Parasaurolphus, such as Allosaur, or Carnotaurus or Utahraptor, which all can counter Parasaurolophus. Anyways, let's check the stats on it. So for the Parasaurolophus, it has 525 health, 35 base damage, 0 bleed, and 27 running speed, which is quite nice. It also has 110 stamina, which honestly is very great. Anyways, <clears throat> we now have the Trudon, which the Trudon is a good build for starters. It is fast, nimble, and can easily kill a lot of things that are bad players. As a Trudon though, you really have to rely on finding baby dinosaurs to eat them because a lot of the players in this game are good. So. Anyways, let's check the stats. So for the stats of the Trudon, it has 60 health, which is lower than the Hypsilophodon. It's damaged 5.5, which is a tiny bit lower than the Hypsilophodon, but it has quite good bleed with a 1.5. And it's armor, it has zero. And its stamina is 200, and its running speed is 34.5. Anyways, let's check the next. So next we have D tier, and in D tier, we have three dinosaurs. The Utahraptor, the Dilophosaur, and also the Rally Ceratops. So, um, let's go to the bottom of the list with the Rally Ceratops, which the Rally Ceratops is honestly... A good build but it really can easily get killed due to the low health and high damage so even though you could <clears throat> like fend off your enemies it could really really get damaged quite fast so let's check the stats so for the rel ceratops it has 320 health 75 base damage and it has 5 bleed, which is pretty good for a small herbivore. It has 15 armor and 80 stamina. And its maximum run speed is 24, which is higher than a few carnivores, such as Dilophosaur. Uh, and sometimes a Giga is slower. Anyways... Next, we have the Dilophosaur, which honestly, it is good, but it's not great at the same time. 
because the fact that it has probably the smallest running speed for a small dinosaur but exchange for that it has high damage and high health for a small dinosaur so let's check the stats so for the stats for the Dilophosaur we have quite good stats with 200 health and 35 base damage and 4 bleed and also its stamina is at 90 and its running speed is 24 which is the lowest for a small carnivore. Anyways, let's check back at the next one. We have Utah Raptor which is a weaker version of the Dilophosaur, but is has a lot more natural advantages due to the fact that Utah Raptor can jump where Dilophosaurus can't and also Utah Raptor has a lot higher speed than Dilophosaur. And the fact that it is like that means that the Utah Raptor can easily get away from many dinosaurs such as Carnotaurus and Trudon's packs that sometimes do occur when some people want to play as Trudons. <coughs> and so let's check the stats. So for the Utah Raptor, it has 165 health and does 20 base damage, which is quite good. Um, its bleed is at a 2, which is quite great also. And it has 110 stamina, and its running speed is 33, which is almost as high as Trudon. Anyways, next we have C tier, which in C tier we have three dinosaurs again. The Carnotaurus, the Therizinosaur, and the Pachyrhinosaurus. So for the Pachyrhino, the Pachyrhinosaurus is quite a balanced build. Um... Some of its hitboxes, though, like, do not make sense, which they do need a bit of fixing. Same as the Diplodocus and the Giga. So, with the Pachyrhinosaur coming out, um, the Pachyrhinosaur is basically, like, a very powerful version of the Relceratops. Anyways, let's check the stats. So, for the Relceratops, I mean, not the Relceratops, but Pachyrhinosaur has 500 health, 50 base attack, and for that base attack it has 4 bleed. And it has 20 armor and 75 stamina. And its running speed is 25, which is as fast as Giga and almost as fast as Allosaur. Anyways, Next, we have the Therizinosaur, where the Therizinosaur is great, just like the Pachyrhinosaur, but the Therizinosaur is like a slower, more damage-dealing, like, build. Due to the fact that Therizinosaur has those long claws, it does quite a big amount of damage and bleed damage. So let's check the stats. So for Therizinosaur, it has 575 health and 140 base attack, which is pretty high. It also has 8 bleed, which is crazy, and has 0 armor, but it has 80 stamina, and its maximum run speed is 12. And was next, we have the Carnotaur, which is probably one of the most played carnivores due to the fact that it's easy to grow and you could easily survive with it. I'm not saying it's the best one due to the fact that Carnotaurus does not have as much health as most of the bigger theropod dinosaurs, but it has enough to be able to charge attack stuff and barely get damaged. Anyways, let's check the stats. So for the Carnotaurus, it has 280 health, it has 45 base attack, bleed is 2, and 
the armor is 5, which is honestly not much. It has 90 stamina, and its maximum run speed is 36. Anyways, let's go to the next one. So next, you have the Spinosaurus, which Spinosaurus honestly is not too good due for B tier dinosaur due to the fact that it has bad bleed, a lot of health, and quite okay damage. Um, it has good like natural defense though. If you're near the water, you could easily escape from acros or any other dinosaurs. But honestly, it is quite a bad build, honestly. So let's check the stats. So for Spinosaurus, it has 90 health. It has, I mean, not 90 health, but 900 health, 55 base attack. And for that base attack, it only has three bleed, which honestly is not much for a large dinosaur. Its stamina though is quite crappy. It has 35 stamina and its running speed is 14. So it is quite good. Anyways, moving on to the next one. So next we have the Stegosaurus, which is honestly a good B tier dinosaur. It does quite good bleed and has an okay amount of health. And it's honestly one of the best builds to play as for like surviving due to the fact that Stegosaur is very powerful. <clears throat> Anyways, let's check the stats. So for Stegosaurus, it has 650 health and its base attack is 180, which is very high. It also has 15 armor, 70 stamina, and 20 run speed, which is quite high. Anyways, next we have A tier dinosaurs, which is probably the one of the best builds. So we have Diplodocus. So even though Diplodocus is big and strong, it does not really do much. Like for growing, it is so hard to grow, honestly, just like the Sora Poseidon, that even when you're max grown, you still have a big chance of dying from like hybrid dinosaurs, such as the Indominus Rex or a few Indoraptors. Anyways, let's check the stats. So, for the stats of the Diplodocus, it has a health of 11,150, uh, 1, 1, and it has a base attack of 170. Its bleed is zero, its armor is 10 and its stamina is 50. It also has an 18 running speed, which is a bit slower than Stegosaur. Anyways, next we have the Giga, which honestly you would expect Giga to be in S tier, but right now its attacks are a bit wonky due to the hitbox being broken, like I said when I was talking about Pachyrhinosaur, where the hitbox is so broken that sometimes when you're attacking things, it doesn't even do damage. And that's why most Gigas usually die. Anyways, let's check the stats for this powerful, supposed to be powerful dinosaur. It has 800 health, 120 attack damage for its base attack, 6 bleed, and 5 armor. Also, it has 40 stamina, and 25 running speed, which is a bit slower than Allosaur and Acro Canthosaurus. Anyways, next after Giga, we have the Ankylosaur. So the Ankylosaur is a very good dinosaur. It has very powerful attack power, which can probably easily kill anything if you get the stun attack. And it's very good for defending yourself and 
but it's very hard to grow due to the fact that a lot of things go for ankylosaurs because they don't want them to grow and having no food. Because ankylosaurs are probably one of the hardest dinos to grow due to the fact that even like small baby dinosaurs could eat you if you're like juvenile. Anyways, let's check the stats. So for the ankylosaur, we have 580 health and we also have 140 base damage, which is pretty high. Like I said, it has zero bleed. Its stamina is at a 50 and its maximum run speed is at 15, which is kind of bad, but it is good otherwise. Anyways, next we have the Allosaur, which the Allosaur is just great all throughout. It has great speed, great attack power, great everything. It has basically balanced stats and it could honestly take on Gigas and sometimes Acros. And I really enjoy playing as Allosaur. It is my favorite dinosaur personally, but that's not why I put it on the list. The only reason it's on the list is because of how powerful it is in game, where you could take on like Indominus Indoraptors like by yourself, and you could also take on Gigas and stuff that are higher level than you. Anyway, so let's check the stats on the Allosaur. So it has 380 health, which is significantly higher than Carnotaurus. And it's basically half a Giga. It has 45 attack power. It has six or five bleed. Yeah, it has five bleed. And its armor is five. It has 80 stamina and its running speed is 26, which is pretty high. And all out, Allosaur is just a great build. So next we have S tier, which is the best tier we could have. So this tier has the best dinosaurs to play as. So we have at the last of the S tier, we have the Perosasaurus, which is probably the worst S tier dinosaur, but it is a S tier dinosaur. So the Perosasaurus can literally kill anything that tries to drink in the water. The only bad thing that happens is that the food can sometimes go in the water and you can't eat it. It's very easy to grow and it's fairly great for dealing damage to like anything and also defending yourself. So for the stats on the Prosasaurus, we have 800 health, 120 damage for its base attack. It has bleed four, its armor is 20, and its stamina 40 with a run speed of 12, which is pretty great. Anyways, next we have the Triceratops. Triceratops is probably the best herbivore build on my opinion it is literally fast and has a lot of health and does damage all at the same time so let's check the stats so for the triceratops the triceratops has 800 health 104 damage it has bleed six and it Wait, no, I read that wrong. It has bleed, yeah, six. And it has 25 armor and 60 stamina and maximum run speed is 25. And it's all out pretty good. Next we have the Sora Poseidon, which Sora Poseidon is very good. Sora Poseidon is probably the best herbivore build to play as, but it's the longest to grow and it takes a lot of time. Most Sora Poseidon players don't even make it to adult because the fact that it takes so long to grow and that a lot of people like to kill Sora Poseidon players because once they're fully grown, they're like basically unkillable. So let's check the stats. So for the Sora Poseidon, it has 
2,400 health, 150 base damage, and it has bleed 0, armor 15, stamina 20, speed 6, which is honestly not too high, and its running speed at maximum speed is 12. Anyways, next we have the best tier, the Acrocanthosaurus, which Acro is great in many ways. The Acro has basically every stat, but better for every dinosaur. The Acrocanthosaurus is also very fast for a larger dinosaur. It could practically take on Triceratops, Perosasaurus, and sometimes even Sauroposeidon by itself. It is all of the best dinosaur to play as, for starters, but it does take a few bits to grow. So let's check the stats. The Acrocanthosaur has 665 health, which is great. 80 base damage. It has 6 to 5 bleed. And it also has armor 4, 0. And it has stamina 60, and maximum run speed is 27, which is honestly quite high. This is why I think these dinosaurs are the best tiers. So, next. So, after this video, I want to give out a shout out to Thank You Color, aka Kyle RLM365, for giving me screenshots for the dinosaurs in Prior Extinction. And so. He's on Discord. So, he helped me out with these screenshots. And also make sure to check out his channel right here. Anyways guys, this is going to be the end of the video for today. I hope you guys liked it. And make sure to subscribe if you like my videos. Anyways, I'll see you in the next.